know poets who drop it when the pen clicks and poets get a poppin' with the pen click. You know I rock with Queen David the pen click prime minister out here with my brother Daniel. He's the chubby fat god. And today, she breathes life with the force of wind that'll give you a rush of that endorphin hit. From Baltimore by way of Jersey, we got the goddess, Mecca Morphosis. Let's get it. No, 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 duck you, autocorrect. You keep playing with me, keep acting like I ain't said what I said, no phone. I said nigga, not night. Nigga, I said slave, not space. You keep messing up my poem. Keep acting like the white people who made you try to change my conversations to what you thought was right, wrong. Got my tongue feeling imprisoned in my phone like I'm about to catch a case, but let me not, because ain't it to be black? To look back at a sentence and see something wrong, something not add up, post to say 10 days, but now you got 10 years in an auto-correctional facility. That is my phone plan. Uh, come on, night. You are the white friends I don't have. Always correcting my Ebonics while using it. Want me to chill on that black talk because you want a good night, a safe space. You want a black person Ooh. who corrects themselves in the presence of whiteness automatically. Tell me why, autocorrect. Every time I tell you my name is Mecca, you gripping the whip and axe. Did you mean Megan? No! <laughs> Autocorrect just wants paradise. No, 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 privilege. Autocorrect hey. just wants order. No, ownership in the news where every black face is autocorrected into a mugshot in the neighborhoods, mm. where gentrification is autocorrected into reestablished in history, where history is autocorrected by the victors in politics, where well, the only thing that flips faster than autocorrect are white allies. And I mm. say no. Mm. I say I am correct. I am right answer. Mm. I am what I am. I said what I said, nigga. And you know what? My phone finally says nigga. And I'm starting to think it shouldn't. Hey! Yo! Whoa, you just brought all of that, man. Golly. You just brought all of that to here right now. <laughs> Woo. Damn. Straight out of Baltimore. Let's off of that tour. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Tour? Yeah, hey. for real. Yeah. It's you got Mechamorphosis in the building with the click. What's good? Hi! Body, click, click. Oh my god, I'm so excited. Mm. Um, I know you said like my voice wasn't really recognizable in the photo or whatever. Yo, a woman of many voices. That's what it is. Is it you know? different? Like, and so was it different from when I performed or like when I'm talking? Because because like when you perform, you get you got that fire, you got that heat. But then you're like, oh, got that rah. She's uh, she's also a human being that has levels to her emotions hi. and shit. It's like, yeah, okay. we're all complex hi. individuals. Exactly. Hello. Hey, <laughs> yeah. let's go. Welcome. Thank y'all so much for inviting me because I, I know like uh, this was probably like one of the first things I wanted to do when I came back to LA. Hey. I was waiting for that message. I'm waiting for that message like, Mecca, hey, you want to interview? I was like, I was like, I'm waiting for it. I was going, I ain't gonna be thirsty. <laughs> you know, it's cool like seeing like different other poetry podcasts and stuff like that. Hey, thank you. And yeah. by, and yeah, like we're glad that like we were able to unlink up. And for any other poets that would like to link up, you know, just you know, try to slide in the DMs. You know, just hit us up nah, like at Penclick P E N C L I Q U E on Instagram, on Twitter. Let us know what's good. You wait for the DM. You wait for them to come <laughs> to you because you're you are queen. Mm. You're all queens. <laughs> it's like let me stop. Go ahead, but yeah, <laughs> we be doing both. So yeah, yeah, yeah. if we send you a message, we love you and we really Thanks. want you on yeah, the show. That's good. Oh, but yeah. we got at you. I got at you a while ago, and you were like. I'm in Baltimore, and I was like, yeah. "Oh damn, I forgot you are in Baltimore." Yeah, because mm. I was like, "Ah, I can't come." Like, I think you were like talking about like something like in the recent, like in the um immediate time, and I was like, "Ah, if I could get that coming to LA for an interview, buddy, I got you." Yeah, where that feel? <laughs> like, I'll definitely be there. I'm always ready to like waste money, so yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, but yeah, welcome to the West Coast, Fresh Coast, Best Coast, Left Coast. Yeah, yeah, hey, yeah, what yeah, is? Yeah, yeah. Best. I don't know. Best, but you're not it's okay. No, it's, 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 it's okay to be wrong. You know, as long as we learn from those things, it's all good. Hey, so uh, let's get into it. Um, for starting off with threads and lines. Hey. This is all first verse. All first verse. You about to get this work. Threads and Lines is our first segment where we inquire what are the threads of life experiences that tie together those lines of poetry, threads and lines. Hey. And uh, Mr. Daniel Hees, you want to start us off with this? Yeah, so uh, first off, off jump, yeah. uh, this is special because this only Facts. can exist in the time that we live in. Exactly. Right now, today. Like 20 years ago, this would have made no sense to exactly. anybody. Even like, because uh, autocorrect's been around for a while. But we grew up with autocorrect hey, on Word. Shout out you know to the saying? shout out to the paperclip. Fuck with you. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, Word. What's up, paperclip? I see you. I miss you, yeah. dog. 
Dang, yeah. I, I wish now I kind of wish I would included those things, but they're so outdated. Like I said, I, I'm just saying, like damn, it's you some different metaphors that you can connect the like the way it used to be to now. Hey, that always writing. Mm -hmm. You always writing. Oh my Mecca. god, you yeah, know I try, I try, I try. Uh, mm -hmm. But yeah, that's a really exciting thing. Uh, we're seeing like this new metaphor and this new abstraction of uh, these life these things in our lives, right? Mm -hmm. So how does that come about? Did you uh, did you find the auto, did you already know about the autocorrect thing? Were you like, hey, I'm gonna write a poem about autocorrect? Um, I, I'm really big into comedy. I watch comedy all the time. I think that's one of the big driving forces that go into my writing. Mm -hmm. So like when I watched um, I, Weirdo, I think it was by Childish Gambino, his um, set, he like talked about how, you know, it was like, no I, iPhone, I didn't say nigga, I, or, or niggardly, I said nigga. So it was like, you know, um, that one's like always stuck to me. That was like a really good joke. And then it's like trying to write on my phone. Every time I write something, it'll change it. And I'm like, oh my God, you're doing too much. And I'm like, you're just like <laughs> white people who do too much. So it's like, yeah, it all came together. And I was like, do I really want to write about white people? And I was like, all right, whatever. Because I mean, I don't really try to, but if it happens, it happens. Yeah, organically, and that's mm -hmm. like a, that's an interesting abstraction too. Like right. to take, um, like we have that idea because of the childish Gambino like uh, set that he did. We have that idea in our head, but for you to then exp mm -hmm. uh, like expand on that, and it's, it's as like technology progresses, and especially in your generation, uh, being raised with internet, being raised with like more technology than what, what our generation had, um, how like your life experience. Um, is affected by these tech bros, like mm -hmm. um, creating these new technologies, but not necessarily for everyone. There's a more modern criticism about how a lot of these new technologies are really built for white folks, more more for white folks. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like facial recognition technology is based on how, how much a light reflection is off of a face, but when it comes to darker complexions, you don't get that much. Or more simply, just filters in general. Right. Hey. For pictures, yeah. it's yeah. like it's part of the facial recognition. Right. Technology. If I if I have a filter that puts lipstick on me, how only half of my lips are gonna get covered. Right. Right. Or like, you know, if there's a filter that, you know, kinda changes your features a bit, it changes it to a more Eurocentric type of thing. Mm. And it make also will make you lighter. And it's interesting that that also re like it reveals whitewashing like in its various ways in technology today. Word. Mm. And, uh, and, and uh, you know, the constant um, apologist uh, reasoning is, oh, well, that's just how the technology works. Of course, it, like, like, it won't reflect as much light. Well, yeah, then we'll that, do whatever the fuck you tell it to but, do. But then, yeah, it's exactly. It's, it's like you, you created, um, um, you, you, you're using that metric, but that also means that you should be using another metric instead. Yeah. Um, and that goes into a lack of engineers of color or developers of color in the technology chain. Mm. But then, you know, the apologist reasoning for that is, oh, well, I, you know, tech bros, like, they're only, like, no, we're down to uh, hire other, you know, engineers of color. It's a merit-based system if we see merit with that person. But a lot of that is, like, self-projection stuff of, like, I, it's it's easier for a person to see merit with another person that, like, you share a lot of culture with or yeah. or you just vibe with on that personal level. And if it's, it's tech bros hiring other tech bros, mm -hmm. and you get this, you get, like, these... Bits of white supremacy and um, uh, um, in exclusion or exclusion mm -hmm. in technologies that is meant to service everybody, and that's interesting how how like this poem reflects that. Yeah, or yeah. points that out almost because it is yeah. an existing thing, right? It's I already mean, a per if these technologies are personifications of like the white people that made them, um, or some of them goes into it, if you will. You've just personified it or even pointed it out, you know, like. Damn, yeah, what if I auto mean, The only difference between my phone and white people is that I can't manually change. The, the <laughs> thing is like, no, yes, I want to save nigga in my phone. I can't <laughs> save nigga and white people. But like, uh, yeah, it's just or like, take it out. Or white take it out. Or take will. it out. Yeah. You know, I can't save this word. It's like I can't make you understand me. I after over time, I have to make my phone understand me. But I guess that also reflects on white people too. It's like I have to. Would you say that this poem is also a bit of a reflection of like how you are approach um are approaching like how uh, how the n word is used by people who are not black or to, by technology? Like how this is addressing. Yeah, that. I mean, it started off not just for like to be about the N word. It's it's just all about how everything has just been whitewashed and everything is just like everything that we do, everything that we try to bring up in 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 own, in own it just gets whitewashed automatically. So it's like um um well I never like when I originally had a poem about the N word, it was a one minute, but I wanted more time with to play with it and I needed something else to play with it. Cause I liked it. I liked the the way I attacked it. 
Um, we liked it too. Yeah, yeah. Word, word. And like, oh, I'm not, not this oh, one not specifically. This one. I'm talking about before. Okay. But it was just like, I want to talk about so much more. I kind of like to attack a bunch of things at once instead of one particular thing. That's always been kind of my style. Okay. And um, I love the way you land the poem. Like, uh, I am what I am and what I said. Yeah, and, I mean, because that's so black in itself. And you, and and you know what? My phone other. literally says it, and I'm th- I'm starting to think it shouldn't. Right. Like, that's such a dope landing because mm-hmm. it ties up everything. Right, because it does get to a point where it's just like, all right, Siri, you need to relax. Like, <laughs> um, But yeah, I um, the way I end my pieces, I really just try to um, leave it up op- open to interpretation as much as possible because I don't want to have the answer in my poetry. It's just like, you know, it's like, I'm just as confused as everybody else about, hey. you know, what things are supposed to be or how things are should be. And I don't speak for all black people. So it's right. like, you know, I know I have my views. I know how I feel about it. And that's really all I can speak on. And, you know, at the end of the day, especially through my poetry, because it's like this is only my experience and this is only a way I can um, reflect that. Hey, and very well conveyed, because like that is kind of the feeling you're left with at the end of this. Like mm-hmm. you have this uh, strong black woman that's doing this empowered piece. And then at the very end, she's almost questioning her own stance on it. Like, all right. And now I'm in this uh, place of like, like you said, like, I don't have the answer and I'm still struggling mm-hmm. or dealing with this or yeah. thinking it's about different. this. Mecca is giving us that different feel. It's Aww. like, yeah, it's, it's like because yeah. I remember like uh, when we were talking early, how like uh, when it comes to uh, black identity issues through poetry, mm-hmm. how like there can be you know trends or whatever and how that's a yeah approach. no so like you know I knew I, I definitely challenge myself like whenever I'm about to talk about blackness I want to really just go at it a whole different angle instead of like you know just the, the regular angle which is fine like there's no there's nothing wrong with it it's just very overdone and it's like, you know, it's like how you go to reach different people or like, you know, people who are my age and stuff like that, you know, as like as racism evolves, so does the way that we attack the issues mm. need to evolve. So it's like, OK, so now it's like let's add technology into the poetry as well. And it's like, you know, because like everybody has to deal with technology. Right. Everybody has to deal with racism. You know, those things are going to come together eventually. So, yeah. Yeah. And that also speaks to like going back is like you couldn't have written this poem. 20 years ago. No. This is very much a product of your generation. And yeah, like it's, and it's pretty dope. It's, it's so dope. fresh. Like, this is fire. Like, Even it. though, like, I always have this fear, because it's like, with poetry, um, I feel like things that are masterful, masterful are always timeless. You know, okay. like, things that are masterfully done are timeless pieces. And I'm like, you know, with this piece, I feel like, yeah, it was very good for this time. But um, I don't necessarily feel like it's timeless, only because of how, you know, how the world works, how how things work. It's not going to be forever, you know, that everybody's going to be able to relate to autocorrect or things like that, which is I'm fine with, but I'm glad that I was able to achieve that for our time anyway. Yeah, yeah word. And, like, first round slam, this is, like, fire. Yeah. Like, oh, somebody brings you. this first round, I'm like, yeah, fuck yeah, that's exactly what I want we reviewed in the first this round. Poem, um, like when we were mm-hmm. we did. speaking with y'all. And, uh, you can check that out. Yeah, I gave it a 10, I think. I believe I gave it less than a 10. But I don't remember exactly how low it was. But I'm <laughs> it was in the nines. nines. It was in the nines. Oh, I'm it was sure. in the nines. I'm I know sure. it was in I'm the sure. nines. I, mean, <laughs> I know. I know it was. Like, just give me my nine. Like, <laughs> nobody ever wants to just give me my nines. Go ahead. You know, you just tell them it was like nine, nine point what? Nine point. I think it was a nine nine or a nine yeah, eight, something like that. Nine, nine. It was a nine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think it, it was, was a nine, nine. nine. I'm pretty sure <laughs> it was a nine nine. nine. Hey. Hey, bars. <laughs> Speaking of oh my God. rating and reviewing poems. Eat. Wow, that's a perfect segue to get into our second segment of the show, the two-piece combo. Two-piece combo! The two-piece combo is where we review two pieces of poetry, one off of Instagram and one off of YouTube, and we give it a slam score out of 10. Two-piece combo. And yeah, our first poem is off of... uh, Today's YouTube piece comes from Button Poetry's channel with Janae Johnson, white girl... Roasting. Ooh, let's go, Janae. Yeah, yeah. Let's go. To the white girl who wants you to know that she too uses cocoa butter. (laughs) (laughs) Shut up, bro. Yes. Co-washes her hair. Mm -mm. 
Duddy wines to every song. Oh, hey. <laughs> Come on. And like, okay, so she has already effectively set up the fucking rest of this poem. Mm. To the white girl who wants you to know. Boom, mm -hmm. we're in. We know exactly where the fuck we are. We know exactly what this poem's about. Like, let's go. Pen game and I like, strong. I like how it's, it's, strong. Like, it's, it's, it's like, like each one is like leveling up into that. Yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. And it's fun. Like, I one of my favorite things about like poetry uh, and spoken word specifically is there isn't when there's not abstraction, but it's going somewhere. And you're like, oh, I know where this is going. Yeah. And we're just going to keep going there. Oh, like, it's like it's already embedded in me to already know what's going on here. I'm like, mm -hmm. <laughs> let's go. <laughs> I'm already tired. Because of, yeah, the word. Yeah. Co-washes her hair. Duddy whines to every song. The kind of girl that could afford to trespass at 2 a.m. Ooh, and there it is. Jump fences without turning her neck. Wink Ooh. at policemen. Throw... Jump fences without turning her neck. Like, such a... I just... Right. Experiential writing shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like so much mm. is said in that one line. Yeah, bro. As that's like a masterful writing there. That's word. A, yeah, that's like you know just being able to say everything that is unsaid. Because I'm already tired. Like I'm already like <laughs> yeah. okay. I'm like yup, yup. You're right. Mm -hmm. Word. Let's get it. Yeah. Afford to trespass at 2 a.m. Jump fences without turning her neck. Wink at policemen, Ooh. throw red solo cups from the balcony and blame it on how quick the brandy slithered through her pores. Girl mm. who shuns the addict, mm. injects the meth for the adventure in the road trip retellings. Slathers Aunt Jemima syrup on her compliments, oh sweet accessibility. Ooh. Oh black ex-lover, oh coerced invitation. I love invitation like her, her, like her accent change in there and how it's uh, uh, projecting like a certain vibe to those words. Oh sweet accessibility. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Ooh, like she turns Bars. into the person that she's like, you know what I'm right. saying? To it's, acce oh, it's, it's accessibility wow. of privilege and accessibility of the syrup and, and like of the culture. Like that's what we see. Like these these uh, these white people. flow. We see you, right, Janae dog? Johnson. Let's I go. Wanna, the white I kind of want to go back to the go run the, the line that when she winks at the police officer. I remember yeah. one time walking around police officers, um, walking to the subway, and then they start they started barking at me and growling. So what? Yeah. Wild. Yeah. So it was like, yeah, the fact that she can wink, like white women can do that and then probably be okay with that type of behavior because they know nothing going to happen to them or I don't know. Like, yeah, you know. word. Injects the meth for the adventure in the road trip retellings. Slathers Aunt Jemima syrup on her compliments. Oh, sweet accessibility. Oh, black ex-lover. Mm. Oh, coerced invitation to the cookout. Watch the room mm. swoon over how much Kardashian she got in her. Mm. Daydreaming of cornrows, fingers for coiling phone cords, snake neck to Tupac, Britney, bitch, forever. Whoa, whoa. Girl, she gets strong. We gotta run that big. Yeah, because she starts with like that little hit, coerced, uh, coerced invitation to the cookout. Oh yeah, and then it's like, oh yeah, we're gonna do it. now. Now let's really yeah. do. It. Mm -hmm. like, th this is a good example of how of, of good word swag. Mm -hmm. Yeah, word, word, word. Word swag, I like that. It's it's because like sometimes we owe Dion word swag and, and now it's all just like multis and and a, a, a alliteration and like you get lost in it. But if you just sprinkle it in there, word. it's like it can be used to great efficacy. And I almost feel like this is uh, you can car compartmentalize this poem yeah. and read it like in different pieces right. and like it would be still just as effective. You know what I'm saying? True. Each piece of this poem, each stanza of this piece is effective as in the same way that the pieces as a whole. Room mm. swoon over how much Kardashian she got in her. Daydreaming of cornrows, fingers for coiling Daydream phone cords, snake neck to Tupac, Britney, bitch, forever girl of half Spanish from boarding school. Learn to roll crisp blunts at boarding school. Ooh. Makeshift champion of spades tournament at boarding school, Ooh. aphrodisiac mm -hmm. eyelashes, painted lips, glitter make her less pale at noon, think herself Beyonce ratchet, Lemonade be the greatest album ever, <laughs> after Bridget Jones' diary, mouth Ain't on wine bottle, with Bridget Jones, though. feet on good couch, I still stand friend by bun, selfie baby. connoisseur of jello place. shots, got that middle of the dance floor confidence, how tough exterior could fill Can up an entire really VIP booth. I don't booth. want to miss that point culturally. Feet on good couch, you know what I'm saying? Like. God damn if that wasn't some shit getting hit for having your feet on the couch. Yeah, especially with your shoes on. Don't do that. Yeah, word. You shouldn't have your shoes on inside anyways. What right. the fuck? Mm. About to get hit. Go ahead. Yeah, we miss anything. Bottle. <laughs> feet on good couch. Frizz bun selfie connoisseur of jello shots. Got that Frizz middle of selfie. the dance floor confidence. Mm. How tough exterior could fill up an entire VIP booth. Girl of too many choices. Not a wasted uh, word. 
no, uh, spicy really. curry or or jergens, uh, brown rice or 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 rompers. <laughs> Wants to know if she is too beautiful for this room. Oh no, yeah, we're gonna run this back. Let's, let's run it back. Run back. Like Whoa, that's all the way Chris back. Chris Blunts at boarding school, makeshift champion of spades tournament. At boarding school, aphrodisiac eyelashes, painted lips, glitter make her less pale at noon, think herself Beyonce ratchet, lemonade be the greatest album ever, after Bridget Jones' diary, mouth on wine bottle, mouth feet on, on good couch, frizz bun selfie connoisseur of jello shots, got that middle of the dance floor confidence, how tough exterior could fill up an entire VIP booth, girl of too many choices, mm. uh, spicy curry or, or jergens, uh, brown rice, or, or, or rompers, wants mm. to know if she is too beautiful for this room. Mm. If she should first album Kesha the shit out of this moment, roll up to the spot with her brown homies and a drop top girl who asked me why I listen to old music. Why I ain't join her in these remixes of remixes oh my of God. songs that I was raised That's to so her. That's so annoying. Heard of hair swinging That's so annoying like when white people be like, oh my God, you don't know about this? It's like, <laughs> what do you mean I don't, I know about it. I'm just not, I'm, I already lived it. I already, I'm already here. I'm already black. I don't need to be as shocked or surprised that's why i was like you know like i always wanted to write about like how when white people see things or like hear stories like this and they start gasping and shit like that i'm just like i'm just uh, yeah like yeah it's just yeah <laughs> yeah that happens spots with her brown homies and a drop top girl who asked me why i listen to old music why i join her in these remixes of remixes of songs that i was raised to her heard of hair swinging the 808 fade rave raw for the insta tip drill fantasy spectacle of bland chaos sycamore tree jaw pepto bismol tears stubborn and pink palm girl say she grew up on ashanti instead of aretha mm. don't know lena mm. don't know eartha don't know butterfly don't know ruby don't know Betty Boop was supposed to be a black woman, don't know me. Mm. If she did, she know my daddy been waiting on the day I snatch a figurative weave out of a Pantene mm. Pro-V scalp. Did you know mm. that I only get my comeback insults from BET commercials and Comic View? I'm judging you. I'm judging your selection of mac and cheese. Oh, you slick sauce, thin and congealed. Your form mama stole that recipe from a wise man that didn't know shit but a friend's episode in a strobe light. You small-lipped, you sharp-chinned, eating all the cornbread, <laughs> smoking all the ganja out the nice creases of your nose. You smolder mm -hmm. of sunlight, Kelly Clarkson, Meet Lena Dunham, you accidentally exotic. Mm. Now that's an You insult. majestically wow. pale. That's the biggest Smoking insult. Smoking all the ganja out the creases of your nose, you smolder of sunlight. Kelly Clarkson, meet Lena Dunham, you accidentally exotic. Accidentally exotic. You majestically wow. pale. You ghost who call yourself Moonlight, steal my pen. My you first ghost bite, who call, my oh my name. god. Bro, she's like doing like, holy shit, let's go. She's doing like these beautifully poetic things and then these super simple to understand concepts. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like, damn, I'm gonna hit you with some fire pen shit. And, and then, then I'm here, gonna give you the Let me complex. spoon feed it to you. Let me right. spoon, and yeah. then now think about shit and then let me spoon feed it. And then while you're it's thinking so about that shit. Master, this is masterfully holy done. Holy shit. This is masterful. We almost there. We almost there. Sunlight. Sunlight. Kelly Come Clarkson, on. meet Lena Dunham, you accidentally exotic. Uh. That's so funny. You majestically pale. You ghost who call yourself Pays Moonlight, steal too. my pen. My Goes first bite, yourself. my first name, if I let you, you forgetful tongue, don't know the taste of your own blood, so you choose to lick our wounds. Mm. And she just drops it there. Oh, right. Like, yeah. That's what white women crave. That's what white women want. They want to, they want to, they feast off of other people's pain. <laughs> and like hey, their right. friend's pain. They're, they're like, that's why it's like in the one line where I'm like talking about like white people, white friends, like white friends, they, they want your blackness. They don't want to be black. They want to be black through you. They want to be black vicariously. Yeah. And it's like, you know, they're like, damn, man, yeah, I understand everything you're going through, all this other yeah. stuff. And but all. do you? But, but do, do you, you understand do any you, of like, it? Not only is like, do you understand? It's like so, I don't know. It's just I have no patience for white folk. <laughs> I yeah, just don't. I don't want to I don't want to hear the pity. I don't want to hear. I just want to see the work. If you do the work, I don't care. But if you know, do just live live that life's the world so just not in my circle <laughs> yeah word word oh so effective too. Oh, yeah. so like, good god damn so part of the two-piece combo is we give every piece that we watch a review score out of 10 as if we're judging in the slam and miss metamorphosis if you were oh, in the no. crowd right now you right just now, saw that you saw that uh, I mean, the, D, the DJ's playing a song while the judges get their scores together. I, Damn, I mean, son, where'd I you find this? I give it 
Let's see. There's there's two different ways to do okay, this. Okay, here we there's go. Two different ways Let's to do go. this. Let's go. So Let's if go. If I was, it. if I would give it, I would give it a high nines. Um, okay. If it was like you know, still the slam was still going and stuff like, a like that. Like nine point, point like nine point seven, nine point eight, right? Okay. Round, Round one for sure. Um, if they just chose me from the audience or whatever, it's just like yo, that's a ten. Like just yeah. me being a black girl, that's a ten. Yeah. Right. Um. Yeah. Yeah. I love the I love the ending. I I have a love hate relationship with the ending. Like yeah, it's just drop the mic, but it was drop the mic, drop the mic. It was like kind of like whoa, wait, okay, okay, okay. And then like yeah, but it was like oh, I wanted that oh, <laughs> that mmm <laughs> instead of like oh no. Okay. That got <laughs> yeah, him. So I was like yeah, but no, like ten for sure. That that was such a good piece, and I love that piece for sure. That's oh, ten. It, it's a ten, like Woo. for sure. Let's go. I think it's. I, I feel like it's. Masterful. It's masterful. Word. Like what? Hey. Ghost pretending it's moonlight. Like what? Oh God, ghost. Fire. Oh my God, smoldering sun. Like Mr. Sun. Daniel, he's. I disagree with you. Uh, as far as the ending, mm -hmm. I really like the ending because mm -hmm. I feel like what we're doing is like she starts the poem with this like subtle annoyance, like, mm -hmm. oh yeah, you use cocoa butter, great. Mm -hmm. Uh, why the fuck are you telling me? Like, who the fuck? Cares? You know what I'm saying? The little annoyance mm -hmm. to at the end, this full blown fucking like. Uh, big, boisterous, frustrated. Like she's roaring at the end of this fucking piece. Like she mm -hmm. is saying something loud. I, yeah. And I, I feel like the like... build up, the build up to that, mm -hmm. I feel like f makes me forgive the drop off. Cause it's like, oh, they're building and the build up's the point. And now, like, she's really like giving it to it. And she's left the audience with like this hit. Like, this is what I fucking feel like. Mm -hmm. And you're like, oh, damn. I That's mean, what no, that dumb shit makes her feel. It's like. definitely much better than any um like the usual drop off that people yeah, do because like I mean you can't do drop off yeah. the poem the same way other people drop off a poem that, so much. Yeah. Like I see that a lot. It was like they do the pause and then they do the last word and just like nah, just that landing's nah, definitely a preference. That's not a that drop. A that's preference. not a drop off. But like since I'm so big on performance, like yeah, do the drop off, but do drop off mass like you know in a way. Like I like performance. I love performance. Right. I love the performance aspects of everything. So it's like, yeah, that's the only thing that I'm ever like super like. For sure. About. Yeah, word. And you gave it a ten. So, yeah. Uh, gave it a ten. Right. But yeah, I really like that because I really do like the 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 pace of this changes, uh, the depth of it changes. Like she goes from like mm -hmm. this very understandable, yeah. uh, relatable thing, almost like a hook. I feel like to the white folks listening mm -hmm. to this, mm -hmm. like here you go, here's the little piece. You know what I'm saying? And then come with me, and you're gonna really you want to learn some shit. You know what I'm saying? This is real shit. Like uh, white allies, you want to learn something about yourself? Like watch this shit, and yeah. like watch this with like a, a quiet mouth and an open heart, yeah. because that's the point of this kind of work. So, so saying, like, uh, and Janae Johnson, the god, everything she does is yeah. like yeah. super fucking dope, super interesting. Like pen game out the fucking Fire. world, uh, bro. Yeah, that's like that's that's a pen game you can only dream to have. Like that shit's so <laughs> Word. good. Or work too, because yeah. I see it's even even like just as I listen to the text, like oh this would this would read well. Fuck yeah, this see. would read better than yeah. like even this. Like if I had both, like. This, oh my god, I yeah. would love to read this. Whenever you miss the fire and you're left like again, like whoa, whoa, whoa. That's, what that's did always she say? What did she super say? impressive when like um, a page poem translates as a stage poem. That's yeah, because it's not always it's not always the case. Mm -hmm. Right? No, nah, yeah. Um, like my mentor, she definitely works uh, at like how to present stage poetry into page poetry, and like you know, she she um, she she's working on like how to create the performance aspect in the page and I thought that was really dope I can't wait to see like the stuff that she comes up with yeah that is so you said nine so is no 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 uh, if I saw this if I saw this round one at a slam she getting a 10 like out gate <laughs> off oh, rip wow. you getting a 10 wow. because I want to see more of this I want to see wherever this is going because if you gave me those little hits right now like mm -hmm. shit do you have a piece that's all just word swag and that's mm. what's dope is like sometimes you hear word swag and you're like, oh, you're just saying shit. But sometimes you hear word swag and you're like, God damn, like you yeah. are fucking saying. Nah, I, I need I would need the balance. I would need the balance between the word swag and the other stuff. Like, yeah, this okay. is this is I don't um, like sometimes sometimes I, I get it is dope to have that element and, you know, like to use it. But um if it's all that's there, sometimes it's distracting. It can be, yeah. yeah. But she balances it well. She like, did. she's doing it she, perfectly. That was, um, so, yeah. Yes, I'm going to say round one 10. I'm going to say round three 10. Like, this is a show. fucking 10, dog. I, this is, if I saw this, yeah. impactful. This, this hits a lot of, like, what I like in, in mm. poetry. And, like, she, she got she got wordplay. She has, like, a great performance. 
um, the, the text is really concise and clear. Like you get it like off rip. There's nothing that really goes over your head unless yeah. you just don't catch the reference. But even then, she'll still do the service of uh, spoon feeding and and yeah, like like thematically, it's great. Um, the the mer- the metaphor that carries through the narrative, great. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, there is a narrative which is dope. Right. Um, my my one my one uh, thing is that like she does um what we call like uh, punches and bunches. Okay, yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah. Where, yeah. where like, like instead of letting like a haymaker breathe, mm-hmm. it's just like back to back to back. That can be daunting for some people, like, it's, like for some listeners, that could like exhaust them or the uninitiated, yeah. right? New or audience. the uninitiated, right? Um, so that can if he dies, he dies, <laughs> right? So that could definitely like uh, uh exhaust some people, yeah. Um, but. Uh, for me, like that just hit all the notes for me. Yeah, that's a ten. Yeah, that's a ten. That's a ten. A shout out to Janae Johnson, Johnson from the click. I hey, don't care. I'm that's salty. Oh, I ain't getting thirty. I'm salty. Oh, you you'll get your thirty, Mecca. I'm salty. You'll get it. Don't worry. We see. Because of Janae, but I'm just salty. We love you. <laughs> don't worry. This show. Uh, moving on to the second part of the two-piece combo is hashtag poetry. Hey. We review a piece off of Instagram. The first thing that comes up under hashtag poetry, and today's hashtag poem comes from. Tiana takes poetry. Okay, okay. so sounds like it's a real poetry account. Yeah, word. And it looks like a real poem. Yeah. Here we go. Yeah, let's go. Um, uh, the caption says "prompt ode to the unlikable." Mm, so it looks I like, like she has, she has an actual like poetry prompt that she wrote to. I oh, really it looks like, like uh, this is a thirty thirty. She said for day twelve of poetry. poetry, poetry oh, okay, poem. never. Poem. Okay. All right, for sure. Oh, yo, we this might be like a real. Okay, let's go. Yeah, All let's right. get it. All right, and as always, our esteemed guests will be reading off the poem. So, Miss Mecca, I'm all, I'm so ready. Like I'm already like intrigued. Mm, um, let's get it. All right. <laughs> Bugs itch when they land on you. Spindly legs, long wings, crawling up and down you like a tree, treating you as a standing post. They're easy to smack off or scream at before running away. Yet here they are, an important part of our lives almost as if we have to wade through bugs before we reach our butterflies. Hey, all right. All right. I like that. Whoa, okay. Okay. Masterfully I... read. Oh, thank you. Like the breaks were very, your punctuation games. Catch that poetry. Yo, let's go. Hey. I like this. I like this a lot. This was really good. Hey. Um, especially, it's, especially like it's so simple and yet it wasn't trying to use too much like bug metaphor, too much of all the other things. It's like, hey. yo, um, we have it's like we have to reach our bugs before we reach our butterflies. Like that's, that's a quote. That's a saying that I can use for the rest of my life. And I remember me and my friend Black Chakra. We was talk. He would say like, you know, the best movies are quotable, and this nice. is very quotable. Like I, that's the that's something I live by with my poetry. Like if my poetry quote, quotable, you know, can I make memes out of my poetry? Ooh. And like you know, that's I, I, that's the kind of like I guess also with the new age right of writing and stuff like that. It's like yeah, that's how I kind of view my stuff. And this is very memeable. This is very quotable. I like it. So off uh, out of 10, out of 10, what you got on this, Mecca? Hmm. What you got on? I'll give it like a, a high 8, 8.9. 8.9? All right. Yeah. Yeah, that's fair. That's fair. Um, yeah, I'm with you. This is like super easy to understand. Uh, it's it's a poem about bugs, which is dope, right? Like it's actually a poem about bugs. Yes. Not, I'm, huh? re- I'm, re- I'm reading it, and I think the bugs are a metaphor for like, like exes. Or, or, or people you've been dating. Whoa, ye. So b- bugs itch when they land on you. So, so, so. Like, it right? feels like it's about. Ooh, lying. all right. Oh, oh, reach. Let's right. reach. No, 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 no. no, 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 no yo, yo, check it out. Right, yeah, so, so spin, right. spinning leg, long wings, crawling up and down you like a tree. Ooh, okay. all right. So, like so, your body. Yeah, your body. Itch, right. So treating you as a standing post. They're, okay. They're easy to smack off. So it's like, like you know, like are are they here for right now or are they here? To stay, and I guess because nah. everybody's important in up. our lives. Everybody, the bad, the good, people the, are important. They're easy in our to lives. smack off or scream at before running away. Yet here they uh. are, an important part of our lives. So these interactions with people, may, may, maybe not not like, like necessarily people you date, but just like relationships with people in general. It's, it's almost as if we have to wade through bugs before we catch our butterflies. So we have to hey. like go through like we have to run through a lot of strangers who might not necessarily be dope until we reach people who we really fuck with. Okay. No, that's real. So like that's I got all those things when I read through the the po- the poem. So like but it still was like yeah, true. You yeah. know, I was like yeah, yeah true. Yeah. And, <laughs> and, and 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 it works and it works literally as well. Like, right. it, it can be literally about bugs as well. 
I don't really love the the only line that I got hit with that put me in a weird place was we have to wade through bugs. Like wade through bugs? That's a weird thing. Like what does that even mean? You know um, what I'm saying? Yeah, I, I, I mean, I, I guess she's trying to say you like wade a sea. through water. I mean, exactly though, but that's know, some like, nasty shit, huh? He's gonna walk also, through a sea of bugs though. But also it's like there are more fish in the sea. I could reach a little yeah. bit. You know, yeah, like, like, yeah, like, if, if there's like a here. swarm of bugs, like, you, you kind of wading through it. Like, I think that's fine. It's yeah, fine. I know, but Allow a swarm it. of bugs Two doesn't weeks. exist. <laughs> Combo, like, wait, a, wait, a swarm of bugs isn't like a thing, really. You know what I'm saying? You're never gonna wade through bugs. That's what I'm saying. That's the only part that I was like, man, yeah. What no, there's, a, bro. Have you been to the Philippines? With, like, hella, you. like mosquitoes and shit, bro. I feel it, it, you. That's just real. Uh, but right. yeah, that was the only line I wasn't crazy about. So, uh, Mecca had an eight day. I'm gonna. Yeah, I'm going to agree. I think this is like an A. I'll give it a little bit less just because wade through bugs. What does that mean? That's gross. Your shoes will get ruined. So I'm going to say like an 8.7. Oh <laughs> an 8.7. Oh, give it a what? 8.7. 8.7. All right. I don't know. I think wade through bugs because like, you know. I don't think it's that bad of a line. Like, like in, the, in the Philippines, there's hella mosquitoes. And like, I, yeah. I, I, I know exactly what she's talking about. Yeah. And I don't like, think it's a bad line. I think bugs. that there might be a, a wanna, better it just, way. It just doesn't have a good mouthfeel for you. I'm a follower. Perhaps. I bet she got like thousands of followers too. This is fire though. Yeah. I like, I would follow this. This is like, she's doing real work. This Deanna is. Takes hope. All right. And for a prompted piece, fire. Yeah. yeah I, 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 for and for, um, for hashtag poetry. Yeah. Goddamn. Fire. We've, we've been through like, Home we've run. waded through so many bugs. Word. And yeah, this is a butterfly right here. Thank you for Fuck being a it. butterfly. Yeah, thank you, Tiana Takes Poetry. Um, yeah, I give this uh, for, a ha- for hashtag poetry. And like it's short, succinct, and makes sense. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Something that not all hashtag poetry pieces do. Uh, eight, nine. Eight, nine. Yeah, yeah, let's go. All right. An eight, eight. We are consistent. An eight, oh, nine, yeah. and an eight, the whole oh, eight. We, were, we actually aren't. Like, if we went from. We averaged what, out. Ooh. Me and Kuya averaged okay. to an eight, eight. So there we I'm go. I'm talking about for poets. To, yeah, we did not. We, so. did, we were not consistent. But <laughs> in, within the poets, we are consistent. All right, cool, cool, cool. All right. Fun. Thank you, Tiana Takes Poetry. And for more Instagram poetry, be sure to follow us on Instagram as well at PenClick, P E N C L I Q U E, for more poetry goodness for your eyes and all that. Yeah. Hey. Hell yeah. Moving on to the final segment of the show. Five for your eye. One, two, three, four, five. Five for your eye is where we give the poet ahead of time a five word prompt. They can make any poem, any style, any format, as long as they use all five words. And Mr. Daniel, what were the five words that you gave her? I gave Mecca. So shouts out to uh, me just wanting to hear Mecca say this word. Because I follow Mecca. If you're not following Mecca, go follow Mecca. She's always Hell on yeah. fire. But uh, Gleaming, I was like, damn, I want to hear Mecca say Gleaming in a song. <laughs> so, <laughs> I don't know. That's one of the rules. One of the, Is one that of some the ASMR words. thing for you? Say, oh, yeah. Gleaming. No, I just pick a word every time that I'm like, you know what? I want to hear what they do with this. I want to okay. hear it. You know what I'm saying? And that was the one that I was that like, I want to so hear funny, Gleaming. That was the word I was drawn to the most. Well, all right. See? That's We're interesting. All right. So I'm we ready. gave her Gleaming, Conduct. <laughs> Or conduct, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah, I was thinking, I didn't know which one to use, but yeah, can, go ahead. Yeah, hey, so I'm a phone, let's go. Yeah. <laughs> Breach, root, and legion. Mm. Five words, gotta use all five of them. Got you. Any style, any format, this is what she brought. Let's get it. All right. Let them know. I hate it, but I love it. All right. I am trying to remember a movie. I know there was a lighthouse, I know there was a mirror, something about the unknown. I can't remember if there was a curse or a promise, that if light was ever gleaming from its window, that meant it was either haunted by a ghost or someone just needed a friend to shine a light back to know that they were not alone. Either way, I am now a house with glimmers of light coming from its windows. Mm -hmm. There are ghosts in here. I feel so alone. I remember the movie like I remember an old self. Flashes, images, phrases. If I can't remember it all was really that good anyway. Mm -hmm. Do you know what I'm talking about? I used to be so good at this. I am I really good at anything now? I swear who I was is on the tip of my tongue. I've just fell off. Let's go back to the roots. Um, Mirrors, curses, promises, all things I've either broken and don't, all things that I've broken. I don't know who I am now. Now that life is no longer a movie, can you shine something back to me? Breach this house with a legion of reflective mirrors so I can see myself enough to remember I exist. To conduct some comprehension of this unknown ghost. Maybe something good from your memories about me. Maybe a few lighthouses. 
Ooh, Let's go. go. Hey. Took us all the way there. Ooh. Ooh. That I'm was glad feelsy. I liked it. I really hate it. <laughs> no, that's dope. That's feelsy too. It took us on a journey, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, man, I like I so like I liked it and I loved I loved it and I hated it at the same time. I was like, man. Cause I kind of just like um I'm tired of like getting prompts and then trying to focus too much on like making it perfect. Yeah, like, instead of just writing. So I was like, you know, I'm just gonna let my body just do whatever it wants. For sure. Me. We appreciate it. Hell yeah. I appreciate yeah. it. Let's go. <laughs> Taking us there. Well, Hell thank yeah. you for being a part of it. Yeah, no problem. Where can the people find you? Y'all can follow me everywhere but my house at Macamorphosis. M E C C A. Morphosis, like metamorphosis, like don't be a ding dong. Okay. Hey. And please follow her on Instagram. Hilarious content. And oh, thank you. Yeah, you're such a great personality to follow. Love yeah. it. I'm so stupid on my stories. Like, yeah, thank you. Yeah, please follow me. Yep, that's all I gotta say about that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> so, so it's just IG or you also? Oh, that's everything. So everything. So um, Twitter, Mechamorphosis, IG, Mechamorphosis. Um, you know, my tats, Mechamorphosis. Uh, yeah. So all of that. Like mm. Twitch. You are. Oh, up. yes, I'm on Twitch. Yeah. Let's go. Um. Uh. Yeah. What are you playing right now? I'm Apex Legends. Okay. All day. Mm. I don't know. I don't usually do shooter games, but I'm playing it right now. But we yeah. all playing it a little bit. Sure. Yeah. We all dabble. Black characters. How can I not? Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> hey. Hey, and you can follow us on all internet avenues at PenClick, P-E-N-C-L-I-Q-U-E, on Instagram, on Facebook, on Twitter. We are at the PenClick. You know the story. You know why. Just release the damn username. Don't Y'all ain't doing it. shit with it. Let's you go. Use it. Give it to the young kings. You don't We're trying it. to do shit with it. You don't want it. Facts. And be yeah. sure to also uh, subscribe to us on iTunes, on any platform that you download podcasts Podcast. at, as well as... Go check out our whole library at penclick.net. Yeah. We are everywhere. Get at us. And uh, Mr. Daniel, he is working to get at you. Go check out everything Chubbies. we're doing over at Chubby Fat, at the Chubby Fat. We're doing all the comedy shit. We out here. Go to penclick.net, y'all. People, everything there. we doing it. Thank you, Macamore. You're welcome. <laughs> Thank you, for <laughs> Yes, sir. Hey. Out here. Bra. Peace. Oh, yeah. Boom. Yeah. Yeah, let's get out of here before we light on fire. <laughs>